You may cross double yellow lines to pass another vehicle if the A. Vehicle in front of you moves to the right to let you pass. B. Yellow line next to your side of the road is broken. C. Yellow line next to the opposite side of the road is broken. B. Yellow line next to your side of the road is broken. A broken yellow line in the center of the road indicates that traffic next to the broken yellow line may pass, if it is safe to do so. Backing your vehicle is A. Always dangerous. B. Dangerous if you have a helper. C. Only dangerous in large vehicles. A. Always dangerous. Backing up is always dangerous because it is hard to see behind your vehicle. Use extra caution when backing up. Before returning to your original lane after passing another vehicle, you should A. Beep your horn. B. See both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. C. Flash your headlights. B. See both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. When passing is permitted, look for both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. Only then may you safely return to your original lane. Any amount of alcohol in the blood may affect a driver's A. Right of way privileges. B. Judgment and physical coordination. C. Knowledge. B. Judgment and physical coordination. A driver's ability to safely operate a vehicle may be impaired at any BAC level, even a level lower than the legal limit. Any amount of alcohol can affect one's judgment and physical coordination. Driving under the influence of even a small amount of alcohol can lead to criminal charges. Want to ace you DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. You are about to make a left turn. You must signal continuously during the last fill in the blank feet before the turn. A. 50. B. 75. C. 100. C. 100. When making a left turn, you should begin signaling 100 feet before beginning the turn. This sign is a warning that you are approaching A. An intersection. B. A crosswalk. C. A railroad crossing. C. A railroad crossing. A round sign means you are approaching a railroad crossing. This sign is posted a few hundred feet in front of the tracks and tells drivers to slow down, look, listen, and prepare to stop. This road sign means A. No right turn. B. Drive only in the direction of the arrow. C. Curve ahead. B. Drive only in the direction of the arrow. Regulatory signs provide notice to road users of traffic laws that must be obeyed. Where this sign is present, drivers must drive in the direction indicated by the arrow. This road sign means A. Watch for people crossing your path. B. No passing zone. C. Work zone ahead. C. Work zone ahead. This orange warning sign tells drivers that an area of roadwork is upcoming. When traveling through a work zone, stay alert for temporary traffic control devices.
Which of the following statements is correct? A. Use your left foot to brake. B. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating your vehicle. C. You should always brake abruptly to ensure stopping. B. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating your vehicle. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating. You should apply the brakes gently with increasing pressure so that your vehicle stops gradually and smoothly. Various traffic control devices in construction and maintenance work areas are the color. A. Red. B. Orange. C. Yellow. B. Orange. Orange warning signs are used in and around work zones. Use special caution when you see orange signs, cones, or barriers on a roadway. When merging onto the freeway, you should be driving a. at or near the speed of the freeway traffic, b. at the legal speed limit, c. more slowly than the freeway traffic, a. at or near the speed of the freeway traffic. You should enter a freeway at or near the speed of traffic, unless the speed of traffic exceeds the legal speed limit. Changing from one lane to another is best done. A. Quickly and often. B. When a car is in your blind spot. C. Gradually and carefully. C. Gradually and carefully. You should always change lanes gradually and carefully. Only change lanes when necessary. Every lane change increases the possibility of a traffic accident. All of the following practices are dangerous to do while driving. Which of these is also illegal? A. Listening to music through headphones that cover both ears. B. Adjusting your outside mirrors. C. Transporting an unrestrained animal inside the vehicle. A. Listening to music through headphones that cover both ears. Even people with good hearing cannot hear well if the radio or CD player is blaring. Do not wear a headset or earplugs in both ears while driving. It is against the law. It is a very windy day. You are driving and a dust storm blows across the freeway, reducing your visibility. You should decrease your speed and turn on your A interior lights b parking lights c headlights c headlights drivers must use their headlights any time conditions prevent them from seeing other vehicles conditions with lowered visibility include dust clouds rain snow smoke or fog on or near the roadway When you see this sign, you should stop in. A. Check for vehicles only in the direction that you plan on going, then proceed. B. Let all vehicles that arrive before or after you go first. C. Check for traffic in all directions before proceeding. C. Check for traffic in all directions before proceeding. At a stop sign. You must come to a full stop and check for traffic in all directions before proceeding. It is illegal to leave a child age 6 or younger unattended in a vehicle on a hot day. A. Even if they are secured in a child passenger restraint system. B. If they are supervised by a person 12 years of age or older. C. Only if the key is in the ignition. A. Even if they are secured in a child passenger restraint system.
It is never a good idea to leave a child unattended in a car. It is illegal to leave a child age six or younger unattended in a vehicle. A child may be left under the supervision of a person age 12 or older. When driving in fog, it is best to drive with a high beam headlights, b low beam headlights, c four way flashers, b low beam headlights. Use low beam headlights when driving in fog, rain, or snow. High beams may reflect off of the weather and make visibility even poorer. This sign tells you that a. No turns are allowed on the road. b. The road narrows ahead. c. There is a series of curves ahead. c. There is a series of curves ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns drivers about an upcoming winding road. Regulatory signs are A. Green B. Yellow C. White C. White Regulatory signs inform drivers of specific laws that must be obeyed. Displayed laws may be about traffic direction, lane use, turning, speed, parking, or special situations. Regulatory signs are commonly white squares or rectangles with black, red, or green letters or symbols. When you see a flashing yellow light at an intersection, you should A. Yield to all traffic before crossing the intersection. B. Stop, then enter the intersection when it is safe to do so. C. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. C. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. A flashing yellow light at an intersection indicates that drivers should slow to a safe and reasonable speed and proceed with caution. Make room for cars that are entering the freeway by A slowing down b merging into a different lane c maintaining your speed and position b merging into a different lane make room for vehicles that are entering a freeway if possible merge into the next lane to create a gap for the incoming vehicles if you cannot merge adjust your speed to allow for the vehicles to enter traffic as smoothly and safely as possible What is the only medically proven method of removing alcohol or other drug combinations from your system? A. Breathe in some fresh air. B. Give your body time. C. Drink coffee. B. Give your body time. Alcohol takes effect quickly and is slow to leave your system. Cold showers, black coffee, and exercise will do nothing to reduce a person's blood alcohol content, BAC. The only way to lower your BAC is to wait. When entering the interstate on a short entrance ramp where there is no acceleration lane, you should A. Immediately enter the far right traffic lane on the interstate and speed up to match the flow of traffic. B. Use the shoulder of the main road to get up to the speed of traffic. C. Speed up and enter the interstate only after you have identified a gap in traffic. C. Speed up and enter the interstate only after you have identified a gap in traffic. When entering the interstate on a short entrance ramp where there is no acceleration lane, speed up only after you have identified a gap in traffic. In general, you should be stopped while waiting for a gap to appear.
If you are being passed in a no passing zone, you should A. Pull off the road. B. Maintain your speed and position. C. Slow down and let the other driver safely return to the drive lane. C. Slow down and let the other driver safely return to the drive lane. Passing areas are based on how far ahead drivers can see. Allow the passing vehicle to re-enter the drive lane as easily as possible to help everyone avoid potential upcoming hazards. If your vehicle has a mechanical problem. A. Signal and pull into the slow lane. B. Stop in your lane and put on your hazard lights. C. Put on your hazard lights and pull off the road. C. Put on your hazard lights and pull off the road. If your vehicle breaks down on a highway, make sure other drivers can see it. Get your vehicle off the road and away from traffic if at all possible and turn on your emergency flashers to show that you are having trouble. This white sign means you. A. May turn left only on a green arrow. B. May turn left on a green light when it is safe. C. Must wait for the solid green light before you turn left. B. May turn left on a green light when it is safe. A sign that says to, yield, means that you must slow down and be ready to stop to let any vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian pass before you proceed. After yielding, you may follow the remaining directions on the sign. If you see orange construction signs and cones on a freeway, you must A. Slow down because the lane ends ahead. B. Be prepared for workers and equipment ahead. C. Change lanes and maintain your current speed. B. Be prepared for workers and equipment ahead. As you enter a work zone, signs and message boards will warn you of workers, slow-moving equipment, and or closed lanes ahead. You should reduce your speed and be prepared to slow down or stop. You must stop at the intersection ahead. Just before the intersection, you have to cross railroad tracks. You should stop before crossing the railroad tracks when A. There isn't room on the other side for you to completely cross the tracks. B. The crossing is located in a city or town with frequent train traffic. C. You are transporting two or more children in a passenger vehicle. A. There isn't room on the other side for you to completely cross the tracks. If you need to stop after crossing railroad tracks, wait until you can completely cross the tracks before proceeding. Make sure your vehicle clears the tracks before you stop. You may make a left turn on a red light only from a A. One-way street onto a two-way street. B. One-way street onto a one-way street. C. Two-way street onto a one-way street. B. One-way street onto a one-way street. A left turn against a red light can only be made from a one-way street onto a one-way street. Signal and stop for a red traffic light at the marked limit line. Streets and highways are most slippery. A. When it has been raining hard for several hours. B. When they are clean and dry. C. Just after it starts to rain. C. Just after it starts to rain. Driving during the first half hour of rainfall is dangerous because roadways become extremely slippery when the water mixes with oil and other chemicals on the road surfaces that have not yet washed away. Use extra caution when driving on slippery roads.
You are driving on the freeway behind a large truck. You should drive a closer behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. B. Farther behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. C. To the right side of the truck and wait to pass. B. Farther behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. It is necessary to follow farther behind a large truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle because trucks have larger blind spots. When you want to change lanes, you should never a. Move into another lane while within an intersection. b. Check your blind spot by looking over your shoulder. c. Check for other drivers moving into the same lane. a. Move into another lane while within an intersection. You should never change lanes within an intersection. Before changing lanes, always look over your shoulder to check your blind spot. Be alert to other drivers moving into the same lane. This sign means A. You are approaching the end of a divided highway. B. You are approaching the beginning of a divided highway. C. The road will be slippery ahead. B. You are approaching the beginning of a divided highway. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. Keep to the right of the median divider. Which lane must you be in before making a left turn from a one-way street? A. The lane nearest the left curb. B. The lane nearest the center of the street. C. The lane nearest the right curb. A. The lane nearest the left curb. When making any turn, turn from the lane closest to the direction you wish to travel into the first available legal lane. If you are making a left turn from a one-way street, this means that you would make the turn from the lane nearest to the left curb. You enter a designated turn lane to make a left turn at an upcoming intersection. There is oncoming traffic. You should A. Move to the left of the center lane. B. Signal before you arrive at the intersection. C. Turn your front wheels to the left to be prepared to turn. B. Signal before you arrive at the intersection. When making a left turn, you should always begin signaling about 100 feet before the turn. You should keep your front wheels aiming straight ahead until it is safe to start your turn. This ensures that you will not be pushed into oncoming traffic if another vehicle hits you from behind. What does this road sign indicate? A. Directions for children. B. School zone ahead. C. Playground area ahead. B. School zone ahead. Pentagonal signs indicate that you are in or are approaching a school zone and or school crossing. Be aware of children when driving near a school zone and follow posted speed limits. To avoid last-minute moves, you should be looking down the road to where your vehicle will be in about a 5 to 10 seconds. B. 10 to 15 seconds. C. 15 to 20 seconds. B. 10 to 15 seconds. To avoid last minute moves, you should scan the road 10 to 15 seconds ahead of your vehicle. This allows you to see hazards before meeting them. A police officer is signaling for you to continue driving through a red light. What should you do? A. Do as the officer tells you. B. Wait for the green light. C. Stop first, then do what the officer tells you.
A. Do as the officer tells you. You must obey any traffic direction, order, or signal given by a traffic officer, peace officer, or firefighter, even if it conflicts with existing signs, signals, or laws. When driving on a multi-lane street with two-way traffic. A. Drive alongside other vehicles so the drivers can see you. B. You should drive ahead of or behind the other vehicles. C. It is safest to drive in the lane next to the center line. B. You should drive ahead of or behind the other vehicles. Driving directly alongside another vehicle could create a collision if the other driver crowds your lane or tries to change lanes without looking. To avoid this, you should drive ahead of or behind vehicles in other lanes rather than alongside them. When changing lanes, you should never a. Cross the center line in an intersection. b. Check your blind spots by looking over your left or right shoulder. c. Check for other drivers moving into the same lane. a. Cross the center line in an intersection. Before changing lanes, check for drivers trying to pass you who may be trying to enter the same lane as you. Look over your shoulder to check your blind spot. You should never attempt to pass or otherwise change lanes in an intersection. This sign means A. Railroad ahead. B. No passing zone. C. School zone. A. Railroad ahead. A round yellow sign indicates that there is a railroad crossing ahead. When parking your vehicle parallel to the curb on a level street. A. Your front wheels must be turned toward the street. B. Your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curb. C. One of your rear wheels must touch the curb. B. Your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curb. When parking alongside the curb on a level street. The front and back wheels of your vehicle must be parallel with and within 18 inches of the curb. If bad weather makes it difficult for you to see clearly, you should A. Speed up to get off the road quickly. B. Drive in the lane closest to oncoming traffic. C. Increase your following distance. C. Increase your following distance. When it is difficult to see due to darkness or poor weather, increase your following distance. This will give you more time to react to hazards that you may not see in advance. Placard abuse will result in A. Placard revocation only. B. Only a fine. C. Placard revocation, a fine, and or jail time. C. Placard revocation, a fine, and or jail time. Abuse of a disabled placard or played as a misdemeanor. Placard abuse can result in the loss of special parking privileges, a fine of up to $1,000, and up to six months of jail time. When can you drive in a bike lane? A. 30 minutes after sunset or 30 minutes before sunrise. B. On foggy days when visibility is low. C. 200 feet before making a turn. C. 200 feet before making a turn. When you are making a right turn. You must enter the bicycle lane no more than 200 feet before the corner or driveway entrance. Do not drive in the bicycle lane at any other time.
Which of the following are factors commonly contributing to traffic crashes? A. Exceeding the posted speed limit and driving too fast for conditions or circumstances. B. Getting adequate rest and staying alert. C. Scanning the environment and staying focused on the driving task. A. Exceeding the posted speed limit and driving too fast for conditions or circumstances. Driving above the speed limit. Driving too far below the speed limit. And driving too fast for conditions are all actions that commonly contribute to traffic accidents. Always drive with the general flow of traffic, within legal speed limits.